Hi, Tara here again with another video tutorial. Today is part of our series on ePropertySites.com and we're going to take a look at how to generate leads using the Craigslist poster feature. Once you've built a single property website within ePropertySites, Sites, it's really easy to use the Craigslist poster or the CL poster to get your uh, listings out in front of people on Craigslist and to generate leads. So I'm logged into ePropertySites.com. I'm going to go to the Properties tab. I'm logged in as an agent. And from here, I will go to the CL Poster tab. And here comes up a list of all the properties that I have in this account. So if I were coming here for the first time after a property was built, I would click here on this pencil. And all that's doing is letting uh, you property sites know which section of Craigslist you want the property posted in. So if I click on the drop down, you'll see that you can post either by Realtor or by FISBO and that um, they're divided geographically in the same categories as Craigslist. So in this particular case, it's by Realtor in East Valley, and we'll just go ahead and hit the Save. If you had set up the property as a rental, then the rental section of Craigslist would pop up. So now that we've set up all the URLs, these all happen to be done, so they know which section of Craigslist to post to, we're going to go ahead and log into the Craigslist account. We'll do that by hitting this button here. That's going to open up a pop-up. So obviously we always want pop-ups to be enabled within ePropertY Sites. And here we'll just go ahead and log into our Craigslist account. Can't type and th talk and think at the same time. There we go. Log in. So I've verified that I'm logged in. I'm just going to minimize that because I don't need that window anymore, but I need it to be open in the background. So here's the different layouts that ePropertY Sites provides for us. And if you hover the, over the eyeballs, you can actually see a preview. Let me scroll up just a little bit so that we can see the full previews. There's different layouts, and the reason for that is not only for a visual appeal for the, bar, for the buyers, potential buyers, but that also allows you to post to Craigslist with some frequency without using identical content. So it allows us to be in compliance with the rules. So you'll see here, this property has never been listed. This one was listed yesterday with this layout, and this one was listed yesterday with this layout. So it's really easy to see which layouts you've used and how long ago. If we scroll down a little bit, we can see that this one was posted 18 days ago. It's really easy to go in and see which one is appropriate to use next. I'm going to go ahead and choose Layout 2 for this one. This one, Layout 2, was used yesterday, so I'm going to choose Layout 4. And I'm just going to do two of them at a time. Now that I've selected my layouts, I'm going to go up here and hit the Proceed button. And what that's going to do is open up two more pop-ups that's actually just importing the HTML code from ePropertySites.com for that format um, right into Craigslist. So once this has finished loading in this window, we'll just go ahead and scroll down hit the Continue button. Most computers will give you a message, a warning, asking you if you want to view both secure and non-secure items. And I've seen the question worded in different ways. You want to make sure that you answer it so that you do see the non-secure items. That will allow you to see the full preview because it will bring in the pictures and the logos. So now we can see exactly how it's going to look when it gets to Craigslist. That's our ad. It looks great. usually does. And so we'll just simply scroll to the bottom and hit the Continue button. The last thing we need to do is type in the CAPTCHA. Sometimes they're hard to read, so if you get one that's hard to read, I've even seen them in Cyrillic and other alphabets, definitely can't read that. Click over here and you get a new challenge, and just go ahead and type in the words or pseudo words. They are not case specific, or like in this one, you don't have to put the symbol above the U, um, but you do have to get them reasonably close. Okay, so that lets me know that I've posted, that one was successful. So I can close that window. You'll remember we opened two. So right behind is another window with the second layout that I chose for the second property. Scroll down, hit continue. Yes, I want to view the non-secure items. Actually, whoops, I clicked no. But that's okay. You can see what that looks like then. All I did was it brought in the layout without the exact pictures. But I've done this enough times to know that it's everything there that we need. It'll show up correctly on Craigslist. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit continue. That was a good example, so we can see what that looks like. Type in my CAPTCHA. There we go. And that easily, I have actually posted those two ads to Craigslist. Now, Craigslist won't allow you to post too quickly. So if I tried to do another one right away in that same account, um, I'd get an error that says, help, Craig can't type too fast. Um, so you, 
you just want to either wait a few minutes before you do another couple of them or if you're like this real estate team and you have a lot of listings you can actually open up multiple Craigslist accounts if I was doing that today what I would do is go ahead and open this up and hit log out I would hit log back in sign into my next account and then move on and that way I could quickly and efficiently post all of my properties to Craigslist um, I would recommend doing it anywhere from three times a week to every day whatever fits your business model but with this great tool, it's really easy to get your properties out there on Craigslist, generate some leads, and get some business for you. So that's how it works. Hope you've enjoyed this video, and I will see you next time.